Look, making friends. Too good, too good, too good. I always go and get a coffee for me and for Riyadh. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love the way the English play football. I, I love the way the referees control the games. He's a joker, yeah. It's nice to have fun, right? Yeah, true. Yeah. It was one of the most intense games that I played. Bernardo Silva! Absolutely brilliant! Just so much, just, just great on the eye, really. He is just a superstar of a player, isn't he? He's a special player, very special player. I need to put him his little vest. He hates this, huh? If I put him the lead, he doesn't move. <laughs> he, he won't move. And, and it's gone. And he won't move, look. He hates <laughs> He me. hates it outside. Look, <laughs> he wants to go home. <laughs> this is John. We really wanted to have a dog. He was named after John Stones, my big friend John Stones because we were very close and I always said to him that one day if I had a dog I would call him John. It's actually a great name, we love it uh, mm -hmm. and Ineas agreed with it's, it so... It suits him. I think it suits him, he's a beautiful boy, intelligent. <laughs> and it's John, sorry. <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> there you are. Do you take him to training sometimes? I took him twice and it was nice. Uh, I always take him when we're doing recovery because I'm just like one hour away from him, you know, to not, to not let him alone a, lo a long time. If he's warm and he has food, he's, he's just fine. He loves to stay at home. <laughs> he loves sleep. He loves to sleep. He loves sleeping. Yeah. Sleeping. All day. So he's the perfect, perfect dog for an apartment, yeah. I know John and Kyle, they have dogs. I know Cancelo and Ruben, they have dogs. And I know Alex has two French Bulldogs. We try to take him out of the city sometimes, but he hates it, actually, he hates it. He just wants to stay at home. No, but he loves it. No, he loves it when it's warm. He loves it when it's warm, but yeah, right and, now it's a bit... And parks, he loves parks and the run a lot. When we got him, we, we took him to the beach and he loved it. In Portugal, yeah. because we got him in Portugal. But yeah, he's fine. It's fine, look at him. We went to Oxford with him to a pet-friendly hotel and it was, it was really nice. We used to, to, to live in the, the city centre, even in, in Portugal. We're from Lisbon, so we're used to noise, to traffic, to being close to restaurants, yeah, shops, everything. So yeah, we, we prefer it. We love going for brunch, for example, to walk to the northern quarter and go for brunch. Yeah, and if you don't live in the city centre, it's, it's, it's more difficult. I, I see where most of the guys live and they cannot walk to, to, to shops or to, or to restaurants, you know. So yeah. yeah, I prefer it here, I like it. I'm the coffee man. Three coffees, two table five. Always one hour before the game. It's my, my only superstitious thing. I always go and get a coffee for me and for Riyadh. Oh, really? And, yeah. <laughs> I always go and get my coffee and Riyadh's coffee, so we drink the coffee together know, one, hour, one hour before the game. I know the, you eat Riyadh's pasta always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Riyadh's pasta. Everyone asks for Riyadh's pasta. Uh, no, no, no way. It's just the same. Do you want to accept Musa? Yes, it's good. Why not? It's just fine. We're good because it's Portuguese. We've got a great relationship with Riyadh. Uh, Ines, she also has a great relationship with Riyadh's with Riyad, with Riyad, with girlfriend. Yeah. And uh, with Juan. With Juan. You, well, you with... make a lot of jokes with Juan. Yeah, I'm close to a lot of people. When he arrived, people really thought that he was always angry and stuff, but he, it's just the way he is and he just pretends he's angry sometimes, so it's fun. I know him very well because I played with him seven years <laughs> at Benfica. And, uh, but yeah, now I, now I think people are getting used to him and, and know that he's just having fun. Riyadh and, Riyad and Cancelo have a great relationship as well. So the three of us spend a lot of time together also. But I think Bernardo gets along with everyone. Is he, is he a joker off the pitch <laughs> as well? He's a joker, yeah. At home, with me, with John, with all the, his friends. He's always happy and funny. Yeah. It's nice to have fun, right? Yeah, true. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! The 
Nice, delicate play from Bernardo Silva. He was absolutely incredible. I mean, that success rate was at 47 passes, 100% completion. completion. That's nice, huh? Every pass I made, that's nice. That's a, that's a good record. <laughs> I think it's almost an unfair advantage. I think he's one of them rare players who's got a ridiculous engine. I think uh, he did 14 15k against Liverpool a few seasons yeah, ago. Did. Just outside the box, falling to Bernardo. City once again falling for that fight. And it's in the back of the net! And it's Aguero breaks the deadlock! That was one of the, the best memories I have for, for City, you know? Because at that time, we, we were behind them. It was, it was tough for us and to beat them at home it gave us the little hope that we needed to then win the title. So it was one of the most intense games that I played and yeah, love that moment, love that game. Do you know how far you ran? I, I remember it was 13 point something and it was the record for the Premier League because everyone was, was telling me that. Yeah. I don't remember exactly. 13.7 kilometers it was. 13.7, oh it's God. a lot, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> but I remember that game was just crazy. I, I, when the game finished, I was, I was dead, dead, dead. I couldn't even walk. It was definitely the, the most intense game I played in, in my whole life. Oh my God, but... <gasps> Look, making friends. He loves attention. <laughs> too quick, too quick, too quick. I love the way English, the English play football. I, I love the way the referees control the games because, for me personally, it's much better than, for example, in Portugal or in Spain, where the game is always top. So yeah, I think there's time for everything. When you attack, sometimes you have to be patient with the ball. Sometimes you have to control the game. And sometimes you have to be more aggressive and, and try and, and go quickly, try and finish the, the, the plays. And yeah, defensively you just have to run, you just have to be intelligent and work for the team. So there's time for everything and that's what I try to, to do in my game. I try to be as complete as, as possible. Let's, let's not try yeah. to, to get John killed, but... John! <laughs> John! 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 The crowd loves Bernardo and I always heard the, the song they, they made for him. Bernardo. <laughs> Ines at the beginning, she, she didn't like football. No, I don't, uh, she, doesn't, she doesn't understand very much, very but now, much, now but she's starting yeah, to. Yeah, now I'm starting Start to understand to. and I love it. She loves the atmospheres mostly, no? Mostly, yeah. She's starting to know all the competitions yeah, I know as well. Yeah, all the competitions. She knows, Champions League. She knows that year. we have to try the Champions League again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the referee on the little games. And they complain with me, huh? Normally I also play. They ask me if I, if I could be the referee. So yeah, it's fun because I know they, they'll complain back to me. And I like a, a, a little argue, it's fine. So it's just so, fun, so much fun because when we come back from training, we're still angry at, at, at each other and we still shout and na na na. It's fun. We have we have a big mix of, of cultures, uh, a lot of a lot of people from from very different countries, but everyone gets along, and uh, I think we have a we have a great spirit in the team, and that helps a lot when you try and and, and go for for titles. It helps a lot, and so we we, we do our best to get along with with everyone. Gabriel chases Bernardo Silva. What a finish! He has played this season, I think, as well as anybody. For me, the most important thing is if you have a good lifestyle, if you eat well and you rest well, you're prepared to play football. So I try to, to focus on, on my training on the pitch when I'm, when I'm training with the team, do my best, and, and then just try and stay as fit as possible to, to be ready for the games.
uh, most of the times we have plenty of visits, right? So yeah, we've been having a lot of visits, family, friends. It's been nice. Uh, sometimes we also like to be alone together. Yeah. Um, this part of the year, especially December, November, January, we have so, so many games that most of the time I just want to be at home, chilling, watching, watching TV, a series. We're uh, trying to travel a bit. Yeah, we try, we try to, to sometimes go to London or go to... We went already to Scotland to a little castle hotel and it was really, really nice. Really beautiful. We try to travel and, and visit and, and get to know the different places here in the, in the UK. In the UK. Sometimes I'm just a bit tired, so we just like to stay at home also and rest a bit. Joy to watch whenever he's on the ball, in and out of possession. 